you haven't ever hosted anything before. I don't think you have yet, still. And I, I yeah. think so far it's just no. me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going great. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Nice to see you. Last time I saw you, we were backstage about to go on stage in the main room, and you're with that dude. Who is that guy? I don't know. You don't it's remember? also not a conversation for this podcast. Holy shit. No, no, I'm just trying to think if it's someone I dated, I'm not going to like roll through like dudes' names on here. <laughs> right. Okay. First time I worked with Polly was the Showtime, Polly Shore and Friends Showtime yes. Special, which I can't seem to get out of my bio. And seems to like of all the credits, like that's like people always use the old bio. Right. So it's like you've seen her on MySpace Comic of the Week and Polly Shore and Friends, and I'm like, right, I've done nothing since then. So that's how you know there's girls in the crowd. That's the girl cheer. That's the girl affirmative. You having fun? Wee! You happy to be here? Wee! Where'd you go to school? USC. How many Trojans? Wee! Well, yeah, but you're associated with my name. That's good stuff. Yo, I agree. Right. If you had told me when I was a little girl watching Encino Man right. that we would share awkward hugs biannually. That's her favorite like, movie, by the way, Encino, right? Um, I actually remember watching that when I was young. I do remember that one. Yeah. So she's got over a million followers on Instagram. That's pretty cool, right? That's a lot. That's, a That's fucking nation. sick. Yeah. So how did you get so many followers on Instagram? Um, I think the internet likes boobs, so... Mm. I had a harsher version of that prepared because yeah. said the internet likes boobs. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And so, no, that, no, you're right. Yeah. One of the things I asked her to do is, because I told her you were going to be my guest on the show and you're yeah. a friend, and, and I told her to watch. So tell us about some of the stuff you saw because, you know, we're trying to get some of your fans to watch her stuff. So. <laughs> um, I actually really loved your show. It was really, really funny. Um, what was your favorite joke? Um, I like when you were making the noises. Of like, I like the part where Brendan Fraser came out of the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's an insane man joke. No. Uh, you like my noises. Thank you. Yes, you're actually an expert at making noises. They're really cool. Thank you. So, Emily, would you ever uh, possibly do some stand-up? And if you, that's the answer, you would maybe give her a little bit of advice. Maybe do you want on to do stand-up? Is that something you I want for yourself? I don't think I'm funny. <laughs> if, if no one's ever told you you're funny, then you don't do stand-up. Right. I feel like a lot of people, when I when they ask me what I do, I'm like, I'm a model. They're like, oh, you out here trying to be an actress? And I'm like, no. Just want to model? No. Just want to work to your 25 and then be done? Um, Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, it would be great to do things like this and, and put a little bit of... Not like this. This is terrible. But oh, in okay. general, well, maybe, like, promo modeling, you could you could be an influencer. Yes. You could do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not, right? I wouldn't do stand-up if I were you. If you, you have to wear a sweater. Sorry. Right, right. She was in Last Comic Standing. Isn't that exciting? That is awesome. What do you think? I think that's amazing. That's fun, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, she won, too. Oh, She's the winner, oh. yeah. yeah. So congratulations on everything. Thanks. I mean, I see you more on billboards now than I see you at the store. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Fire and ice, icy hot. It's called freezing hot, but thanks for having me. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's right up there with making fun of someone's last name. So this is it, you guys. This is Eliza Schlesinger. Schlesinger, good. Schlesinger, Schlesinger. Still not it. No, Schle. <laughs> Wait, Schleckinger. That's it with a K. Schleckinger. K appears. This is a like uh, Jägermeister. Texas. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I love Texas. Thank you. See. Do you love it as much as Encino Man? Um, more. Good. Actually. Good. <laughs> Suck it, Polly. Look at that. So the uh, uh, so you came out here six months before the special, correct? Before. The, the special we did, the Showtime special? Oh, probably. The Comedy Store, I'm trying to think, was Comedy Store was very cool about uh, giving me spots. And it, didn't, it wasn't too difficult. And I think I wouldn't be the comic I am today without mm. the uh, pain of the original room. And did you hear the Dan Cook story about sure. him being banned from the Laugh Factory? Sure. Because I haven't really talked about it yet. I mean, someone told me what happened specifically. You know Dan Cook, right? He commented on my Instagram photo yesterday, actually. Really? He did. What do you think that means, Eliza? It means he wants to fuck your girl. Dang, I know. That's <laughs> not cool, babe. What the fuck? I don't even know if it was. I think it was making fun of me. I don't even think it was flirtatious. Um, yeah. No, it was flirtatious. Right, Guys man? don't just make fun of hot girls like to be mean unless they're writers. But yeah, I guess I didn't pick up what he was putting down. So what did he just got off? He, he got he was given the light. Look, and, it's, not, it's not my place to say this. I mean, I think it was a culmination of a lot of things. I think it was a lot of 
you know, without throwing Dane under the bus and without throwing the Laugh Factor under the bus, I think it was a lot of butting heads. And at the end of the day, Jamie Masada is the owner. Mm. Dane Cook is not the owner, isn't a partial owner. Mm. Yeah. Hannah's my assistant. Uh, She's, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about a year and a half. Are you dying to ask me any questions? Uh, Do you have no, no idea she, I am? No, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan. She was stoked to have you on the show, yeah. and she's been opening for me on the road. And what was the show again? Pretty Funny Woman. Yeah. The Lisa Sunset show? Yes. Did you make you wear a dress? Yeah. <laughs> Did, were you in one of those shows? Or no. You wear a fucking dress. Also, you're going to make girls wear dresses. Why? Why? So guys can stare at our bodies and not listen to what we're saying? They force you to wear a dress when you when you're comedy show. Ask Anna. <laughs> on, the, on her shows, yeah. That's she a says little like her brand. Like, I know Natasha wears dresses, and she's a tiny thing, and... You know, Pete, Amy wears dresses. I don't think Whitney does. I don't, you know. It's such a personal preference. And in something so vulnerable where you're sharing, like, who you are. And comedy, obviously, is, like, an exacerbated version of that. For you to not be comfortable from the start, that's just not a way to, yeah. to you know, it's, it's like censorship in an odd way. Yeah. So that's insane. So Whitney was doing a TV show, and she was producing a TV show. Are you yeah, developing have- some stuff? I wrote a pilot for ABC. Um, taking out a cable show, we're taking out a network show that I hope to sell and not, and just not be part of it. And then we have a scripted show for a reality, like for a, a cable company as well. That's the other thing I don't think people get, you know, like you look at anybody that's on TV, some people just get stuff right off the bat, but I've made maybe eight pilots, some for cable, some for network, and nobody knows that. So it just looks like, oh, where's your show? And you're like, I, every year I'm under a contract to make a pilot and it doesn't go. So it, it really is a process. I think you've, you know, you've positioned yourself in a place where you're going to get a really great opportunity. And I think at that time you'll be able to deliver based on all the experience that you've had doing all these specials. Thank you. Yeah. It's not so much position as clawed my way. <laughs> my objective is to just be happy in whatever I create. It really pains me to go into auditions for projects I don't like, and I've actually stopped. The goal in this town is to put yourself in a, in a position where you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Like if I don't want to go on tour, I don't. Mm. If I don't want to play a club because I don't like that state, I don't go. Mm-hmm. And if I don't like a project, I just don't go in on it. You know, you, you don't want to be one of these desperate actors that's doing shit that they don't want to be doing. And so stand-up gives me a voice it gives me a platform it gives me a a very very good career so that if i don't want to go in and read for something that i don't believe in i don't go well we love you being part of the adams family thanks